Well, my goodness, thank you very much, Dean. Uh, and thank you to the Alumni Association and to the university for this honor. I, uh, like the others, want to congratulate the other recipients. I'm flattered to share this ceremony with so many people who have made such indelible contributions in their fields, the scientists, the educators, the medical and law enforcement professionals, the business and community leaders. They're all doing God's good work. My work as a reporter, on the other hand, <laughs> certainly would not fit that description. Uh, I think I have singed more than one politician with that uh, torch that you described, Steve. I feel like I've come full circle with SIU. Uh, I really age myself when I tell you, as I have shared with some other people here this evening, that I used to roam the fields here, uh, that, that once stood here, uh, the farm fields, in search of arrowheads on a farm that was owned by my second grade teacher in Granite City. She and her farmer husband lived here. Uh, I arrived here after covering last night's vice presidential debate in Kentucky, and uh, I pulled an all-nighter last night, which I think was just so appropriate considering all the all-nighters I pulled here because I just couldn't, you know, get the work done in time. That wasn't the case last night, though. And I'm on my way to the next uh, presidential face-off in New York for CBS News. But there was never any debate at all about being present for this special honor. My time uh, here at SIU Edwardsville is certainly an important point on the compass of my life. On occasions like this, though, I always like to quote uh, a little story that was attributed to uh, the late Israeli Prime Minister Golda Meir. She once told a member of her cabinet, don't be so humble because you weren't so great to begin with. <laughs> um, <laughs> in any case, the real fame here goes to many others. I'm grateful to my wife, Elizabeth, for her support and understanding. Uh, she, I can tell you for sure, is back home hoping that the Nationals are going to beat the Cardinals. This causes some family problems. My brother Craig is here, lifelong Cardinals fan. My son is a lifelong Cardinals fan. I grew up with the cards, but that's where she is tonight. Uh, so I appreciate her support and understanding through uh, almost 40 years of marriage. Uh, and also uh, appreciate the uh, understanding of our son and daughter. I once came home from a long foreign assignment and my daughter was about seven years old and she said, Daddy, I'm so glad you're home, I forgot what you look like. <laughs> so that's sort of the story of, of what I do. Um, and of course I'm indebted to my mom, Dorothy Mayer, proud native of Madison, who's here tonight. Uh, she and my late dad, Dr. Stanley Mayer, instilled the sense of fairness and respect for others that really are so important for my work as a reporter. Uh, their emphasis on the need for a good education somehow carried me through the Granite City system and onward here to SIUE. Now, as others have, I just really must uh, reflect on the influential voices uh, and influences during my four years here. Uh, yes, I did somehow miraculously make it through here in four years. <laughs> uh, the late John Rendleman, whose uh, name is on the building right adjacent to here, the visionary leader of this campus, uh, was an inspiration to all who knew him. And perhaps there are others here tonight who remember how Chancellor Rendleman guided this school through the, the turbulent time of the 1960s. The Mass Communications Department had just opened when I came here, and uh, as the Dean noted, I was in the very first class of uh, Mass Comm grads. And more than 40 years later, I am still in frequent contact with one of my favorite professors, Jack Shaheen, who's an inspirational teacher and counselor then and now. I want to honor the memory of the late Professor Kamil Winter, he was a hero of freedom in his homeland of Czechoslovakia before joining the SIU Edwardsville faculty. Uh, Dr. Hicks was reminding me that there is a scholarship uh, in his memory here. I could give an entire speech on the meaning of this man. But it was here that Professor Winter opened a window on the world for aspiring journalists, including this one who, frankly, his world probably uh, started and stopped somewhere between St. Louis and Springfield back then. I remain indebted to Norman Greenberg, my boss and mentor at WIBV Radio in Belleville, Illinois. Norm was also a teacher 
with lessons on fairness and what it really means to be a communicator. I have to thank my wonderful bosses at CBS News for springing me uh, between these two assignments and, uh, and allowing it to happen. So to close, I, I share any fame conveyed on me tonight uh, with all of these many influential figures in my professional and personal life. I have traveled quite a distance on the journey that started here. And as the dean mentioned, uh, and this is the honest to goodness truth, uh, when I write my news report sitting in the White House every morning, I am guided by the question. I really am. I want you to know, what would the people back home, not just Granite City, but home here, want to know about this issue, about this breaking news development? And I want you to know how grateful I am for this honor. Thank you.